Sometimes I like my tips to be fast and sometimes I like my tips to be slow. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick tip on changing your handwriting. Now I'm not talking about changing the entirety of your handwriting, though you can take this tip and expand it to, to changing the entirety of your handwriting. But today I'm going to focus on the idea of changing one letter. There are all sorts of different letters you might want to change. Like your regular handwriting might look a certain way and you might look at it. So if I write out my alphabet of, how I, of lowercase letters, we're just going to look at lowercase for right now. So here's my lowercase alphabet, right? This is how I write it normally. This is my regular ass handwriting when I'm going quickly. Talked in the past about the importance of going slowly in order to get your writing neater. I slow it down, my handwriting tends to be a lot neater. Now, as you can see, it's pretty similar to each other. Let's lift this up so you can get a better look. Like you can see, it's pretty similar to each other. However, it's slightly different because I slowed down. I took the time to be a little bit neater with my letter, with my hand. This is not hand lettering either. This is just regular handwriting. Now imagine that I see someone else's handwriting and I love how they make a certain letter. And for me in the past, I swear to you, my letter that has been like the letter I always want to shift is A. Because I normally, I'm going to go bigger for this, but I normally make my A's like this. That's just how I do it. But I love the look of this A. Totally different hand motion, totally different gesture, or yeah. See if we can get this without any sex jokes. It is entirely possible to change your handwriting to go from making an A like this to this, or whatever letter you decide you want to change. The way you need to do it is to take some real time retraining your hand because that's really what your handwriting is. It's what your hand is trained to do. So you have to retrain. This was the A I wanted, this specific A, and that's, the way I like the look of it. I love the look of this A, so I want to change my A to look like this. And I've done this before, and then it's less, it's more of a pain in the ass to me, so I don't do it anymore as a regular. I use it in my lettering, but not in my handwriting, because it's just, it felt like too much, but for a while I wanted it, and what I would do is first I would sit and I would just slowly start writing the A, getting used to the feel of it. This is how it feels to make it. And I would suggest that you figure out one letter at a time that you want to change and just fill up pages with that one letter. Now my suggestion to you is not to spend 800 years on one day making a bunch of A's. Like you're going to want every day to like commit yourself to making, I don't know, like a line of A's, a row of A's, two rows of A's, whatever you feel like you have time for where you're not gonna like get super frustrated and wanna throw your pen across the room. Like figure out how much practice every day of one letter you can tolerate before you get pissed off. Cause the goal here is to do this on multiple days. So the thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out how much of it you can do in one day to not get sick of it. If you get sick of it, you're gonna stop doing it and it's gonna negate the whole process. So every day, write out however many of that one letter that you can. Once you've done that for about a week or so, at least, to just start getting used to the feel of it, then if you're journaling or you're making a shopping list or whatever, try to slow down. And like if you're like, for example, if you're making a list of things you wanna buy at the store, let's pick some things that have, you know, the A in it since it's what I'm using like, whoops, I can't even spell cereal, mac and cheese. It's on my mind right now, carbs, pizza, <laughs> pasta, and asparagus. Three A's for the price of one. You're making your shopping list and like you write it out relatively quickly, quickly it kind of looks like that, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is slow it down because that'll give you practice on forming all your letters nicer. But then when you get to that letter, try and remember to make it into the letter that you're trying to, that you're trying to get practice at. Now, but slow everything down because if you start going fast, then you're gonna forget and you're gonna write the same, your old way of writing that letter, whether it's an A or whatnot, right? So slow it down. It's gonna feel super awkward. So what you wanna do is every day when you need to make a list or something, if you think about it, see, I wasn't even paying attention and I put the old one in right here that shows like when I'm talking and I get distracted. So you wanna make whatever lists or writing you do that day, 
slow it down and try and practice putting the A's in. And on top of that, continue doing this practice every single day. You keep doing this, sooner or later you're gonna train your hand to start changing the letter out. This is not an overnight proceeding. This is not even a month long. This is retraining your muscles. So you could be doing this for three months and still fuck up and put the other letter down if you want to. You just have to remember to have patience with yourself and have patience with the process and continue to just reinforce that. Once you get to a point where you feel like you have got that one letter sorted down, seems to be happening most of the time and you feel comfortable and you're still practicing, then you can change a different letter if you wanna add another change in. Like, and there's all sorts of ones that you can do. You can go, like if you make your B's like this, like I do where I just sorta do one kind of situation. I love the look where you make, like, make them look nice and full like that, but I'm, I write too fast for that generally to get that look. It's the same with an I. Remember this from fifth grade, some of you, where you go from just an eye like that to a circle or even a heart. I mean, we're grown ups, so we can write however the fuck we want to. No judgment on my little heart eye. You look at other people's handwriting, you see how they make certain letters out, blah, blah, blah. Look at what the thing that they do, pick one letter, practice every day for at least a week making just that one letter, then start trying to incorporate it into your handwriting every day, slowing down, being purposeful about it and then continue that practicing. And sooner or later, you will find yourself at a place where that practicing every day doesn't feel necessary anymore because you get that letter most of the time. And if you don't, don't hate on yourself. Just keep slowing down and keep going. Be patient with yourself. It takes time, but if you like it, if it's something that you really wanna do that you think is aesthetically what you wanna be writing as, then there is no shame in spending time doing it. Just consider it self-improvement. Do you have a letter that you wanna change in your way you write? Like, is there a specific letter you've been like, you see someone, like whose handwriting do you like to see? And you're like, oh, I like what they do, I wanna do that. Let me know in the comments so I can go take a look. With all the looking at lettering, brush lettering, bubble lettering, all the fancy lettering, sometimes it's easy to forget that we can also make our handwriting we can shift that if we want to, it just takes practice. It almost takes more practice to change your handwriting than it does to learn lettering because with handwriting, you're already trained to do something. A lot of the times with lettering, you're learning a new, completely new, especially something like bubble or brush lettering, you're learning something completely new. So it's not as, your, your hand is not already trained. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.